What's up guys, Billy here from Bacchus Collectibles bringing you another toy review and today we are looking at the Lucky Cat MC-03 Beast Lord aka the Dino Megazord. So this is a, I think it's a, it's officially licensed but it's more, it seems more so like a third party item because of the, the packaging and way it comes which I'll be showing up here in the corner. Uh, because they disguise it not as the Dino Megazord, like you can see on the picture here on the box. I'm gonna destroy everything. Um, that's not the Dino Megazord, that's just some random robot. Uh, but on the back here, it has the back with the horn. You can see the Mastodon feet and the M's. Uh, but yeah, so it comes uh, disguised uh, as you'll probably be seeing me show off in the corner. I don't want to worry about putting all these pieces back on once I get transforming because the transformations, this is more like a transformer, not like a normal Megazord toy because of how intricate they are, which is cool. And for the size, cause they're really small. Uh, but so let's go ahead and go through all the parts that you get before we get into the, uh, the actual Zords. So you get this little part here, it helps you transform the dino, uh, the Tyrannosaurus legs. Uh, you get chains for the Triceratops horns. One for each side. Uh, they give you these two little screws uh, if you feel like committing to one of the heads because the heads are swappable because of how it comes. Uh, and then two sets of hands. There's these splayed open ones. And then fists. And then for the extra parts, you get this chest piece that comes on it, as shown. Uh, these shoulder pads, things. A lot of these pieces are just going to go into the box. I mean, they are all going to go into the box. Different feet, dino feet. I like these. They're cute. Uh, and then you get the power sword. That has this lightning effect. I don't know if this part is still available. I think some I saw something on Top Collectibles that it was like an earlier release thing. So you might just get the regular power sword, but I will have a link in the description where you can buy this. Uh, and then you get these four boxes, uh, which I also think are early release uh, items, possibly. I don't know for sure. Uh, but they do sell them individually, so you can check that out. Uh, but yeah, they're meant for storage of the Zords, and this this line's gimmick is making things into cubes. So let me go ahead and get everything out of here, uh, besides just the Zords. Alright, and yeah, so they come in, or not, they don't come like this. They come how I showed you in the, the intro video thing. Um, so yeah. You get you get these four boxes, you have to build them. They're really hard to build and annoying, but once you get them together, it's very satisfying because of how they are. It's like opening up a toy box when you get one of them. Uh, I only have one peg connecting each of them. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go ahead in morphing order as we, as we do. Uh, so, you know, Mastodon's in here, hidden. How do you get it out? It pops open like that doesn't really pop open it just opens uh and they're not like tight or anything which i guess is fine uh because by themselves they're like these little little balls they kind of stand up depending how you put pressure on them so yeah that's the box uh we'll go ahead and just get them all out there's a the pterodactyl with a bunch of extra parts yeah they all have like little armaments also that i'll go over uh the pterodactyl actually has two forms. <clears throat> and then Triceratops and Sabretooth get stuck together. Uh, I think their Voltron set is like this, where it's three sets, the black lines by itself, and then the other four are paired up. Uh, so yeah, you get Triceratops and Sabretooth like that. And then the Tyrannosaurus. It's just like that. So yeah, there you have your little 
your little boxes of, that turn into Zords. Um, let's go ahead and get them transformed. I'll transform them first without the extra parts, and then I'll add the extra parts on later, which will be really funny for the pterodactyl, I think. Uh, so yeah, get these out of the way. The Mastodon, uh, these are the extra parts with it. Uh, they're cannons. They're just on, there's a lot of pegs that you want to just do the twisty, twisty thing to get them off. So you're not like ripping them off. Um, but we'll set these to the side for later. The Mastodon, the head's down here. It pegs on, uh, like that. That's why I, I, having two pegs is annoying. But you can see those peg holes there. There's pegs there under the feet. Uh, speaking of the feet, we'll go ahead and flip them down. And then twist the hind legs. There's, you know, you know what the mastodon looks like by now. Um, and then for the, uh, the head, you need to turn the trunk up. The horns twist. It's blocking. Horns twist like that. Like that. And then uh, this this peg right here folds down. And this this peg right here goes... Uh, there's that hole right there where my finger is pointing at. And it just plops in there. Like that to sit on the front. And we have Mastodon! And as you can see, very tiny. Uh, here is a Lightning Collection Tenga for a size comparison. Very tiny, <laughs> uh, which is cool. Uh, I mean, they're they're basically cute fidget toys. Um, or a better comparison, while well, I have it right here, is a Re Soldier Key about the same size. Um, all right. So we'll sit Mastodon over here. Pterodactyl. Um, this is the the reason I thought it would be funny is because like so this is all this whole thing is a bunch of extra parts. The pterodactyl is actually right here, and it pops off off of these two pegs here. There's peg holes here that we will use. Yeah, peg holes here that we'll use later. So that's like extra pieces galore. Uh, the cannons can go on this, but I'm not going to worry about it. They don't really fit well. Um, so the wings, if you've ever seen a Dino Megazord review, most of these are going to be the same. I have to cover. They're tiny, so I'm just going to do it like this. And then the head is down here. Then we have this little pterodactyl, even smaller than the mammoth. Or that's a mammoth, yeah. Mammoth, Mastodon. Uh, and it can balance. I had something I was balancing on for pictures. Or just, I had this little like tab that came out of uh, the box. That just been, it helps it balance. So I can sit over there. Uh, Next are Triceratops and Sabertooth. They only have one extra piece between the both of them. So they don't really get like super powered up armaments. Uh, it's this, they're pegged on in the middle. There's a hole here. And then this little like blaster gun thing. We're going to set it to the side because it's technically the Sabertooth's extra piece. Uh, pterodactyl, Triceratops. Sorry, I had to do the whole morph in my head. Uh, it goes down like this. Uh, it's probably easier to unpeg it up here, actually, from what I found. Um, this goes like this. And then it plops on for spoilers. And then the head goes down. Sorry if I like covered all that, but... You basically want to get this peg here and then it flat like this and then they plop together. Um, this one, like 
the SOC and Lightning Collection Megazord uh, have it to where the treads go out to make it a bit bulkier. <clears throat> and then, yeah, the four legs do the same thing. You can see from the front, it's a bit thicker than what it was. Uh, and then the tail, just put it to the back. These little cannons can move. Uh, you have it pointed forward like in the show. The horns pop out like this. I'm just going to do one side because I don't want to finagle with these chains. <clears throat> but you want it facing up like this. Or like the angles like this so it can fit into the hole. I don't think I lied. Makes sense. So yeah, it goes into the hole where the horn was. There's a bit extra material all over this thing because it is a third party figure. So their printing probably is just weird. So you just gotta be careful. That's why I didn't wanna really bug with those because they're weird. Uh, but put that back in so it sits. Triceratops. So to Tiger, you don't have to take the peg off this one for some reason. It just does it. So it folds like this, turn it around, meet it back up, or you can have it out for some like shoulder mobility. Head goes down, horns go down, or teeth. It's a dinosaur, it has horns. Uh, the legs are folded up here. They're a bit tight, so just be careful. Tail, same as before, it just folds back. Work and fold forward as a cannon. Saber to Tiger. Okay, and then the Tyrannosaurus. So its extra parts are these two cannons, makes it look like Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, once it has them, it's pretty cool. They just come off. They're on these tabs. As you can see here, they tab into right there. Um, for the Tyrannosaurus, this whole back part's going to unpeg. The legs, you need to open these, actually bring them down. Uh, they're on hinges. They just go down like that and then this clips in up here you might need to put the legs down first make it easier yeah so yeah that all clipped in the legs fold down and forward you want to move the waist panels <laughs> Get it all turn a uh, The tail just unfolds out. Like that clips down. Get it to where it can stand. The arms just fold down. They have a little bit of shoulder movement because they're on a ball joint. And then the chest opens just like the show. And back here, you can see the the T Rex snout. So I just press it so it pops it out. And then you move it up. Uh, there's no head art articulation in the Tyrannosaurus mode. Uh, if you take the Dino Megazord head off, I think you do. Yeah, I like that. But that needs to stay. All right. And so there you have it. There's the T-Rex with all the others. Get balanced. And they're all pretty cool in their own right by themselves without all the extra pieces. Except for the pterodactyl that doesn't want to stand. It wants its legs that's going to get. We can start to add the extra parts. Uh, we'll do reverse order. So we'll start with the Tyrannosaurus. So we bring in back his two, two gray bits here. Those. 
um, they become like a little backpack thing. They're like straight up, it just reminds me of Mecha Godzilla. Uh, but so they're like this in the cube mode. You just swing them around. I think the picture has them like this, but I like them a bit forward on his back. Uh, so they plug into these pegs back here. These pegs are used a lot. Uh, someone did ask if I felt like they were loose. It depends. Uh, on my cannon ones, they're fine, but on the pterodactyl, when we get in combined mode, it's kind of loose. Um, so, same thing with this one. It's forward. So there we have its shoulder cannon. Makes it look more and more Zoid like. My mom and grandma used to call the Zoids uh, Zoids when I was growing up because I also collected Zoids. So, I mean, to be fair, it's pretty confusing. So, <laughs> uh, and then for the Saber Tooth Tiger, there's this port right here that this little gun goes into. The gun that was like the connector piece for the cube just plugs in like that. Triceratops, its extra gimmick is the chain horns, uh, so we already showed that. Uh, Mastodon, we're gonna skip over Pterodactyl because it's a lot. Uh, Mastodon gets these two things from the, uh, the cube mode. There's these pegs that are in here that you just pop out might have to use your nail to get them. Uh, like I said, just the there's an uneven amount of plastic on some of this stuff, so I'm just covering it. But so it's just the way that these these kinds of products are made. Um, but I mean, it is good quality. Like these are solid not complaining it's just you got to be careful where you're at because <laughs> it's it's not cheap to reproduce so there's the mastodon with the cannons all right pterodactyl so there is this whole chunk of cube left over because we just took the chest part um let's go ahead and spread it out as you can see there's a head um, so take these cannons off. Like I said before, I just twist off the pegs just so it's easier on those. Uh, the wings will spread open. These, these are the leg joints. Uh, for this mode, we need to have them out and then down out and down and then the feet swing down you might have been able to hear it pop a bit like I think there are some there's some extra plastic on these ball joints where it just gets stuck in certain spots so you just gotta be careful and distribute weight evenly uh, the wings go this way yes yeah so up like this which is and then we'll situate those in a minute. Start spreading them out. Uh, the cannons back here, you need to swing them like this, swing it down, swing this down, swing this up, and then it all like fills in like that. I'll show up on this side too. So you need to swing it out like this, swing the cannon now then this down and then this have it up or you can have them down we'll have them down so like it's like a backpack uh and then the head it's it's on this like hinge back here you can see it makes the spine and just fits into place back there <clears throat> 
as you can see, this pterodactyl body is massive. <laughs> um, the cannons, they make like a little tail, or I think they just sit back here. I think you want them like this. It's the best way. So you have this part here instead of straight out like that. And then it, there's a peg right here. It clips on. And same thing here. Clip onto the other side. Makes it a little tail thing. Tail, dual tail cannons. Uh, the wings, there's a bunch of points. So this point you want out, this point down here you want up, they're tight, so just be careful as always. And then you can like situate the wings however you want. This one back here, maybe like this, yeah. All right. And then match the other side to how you set up the other side, you know, so it can fly. Boom. Right, they're all all types of twisty around. Okay, so there we go. And there's the new pterodactyl body. No head articulation, but let's get the baby pterodactyl in here. Um, so just fold it back up how it was, the head is all the way down, like that, and then the wings fold in, and then it plugs into the, the chest on those two holes, on these pegs. And then boom, big pterodactyl, like it is bigger than the T-Rex almost. I mean, obviously, especially with the wings, but like, yeah. <laughs> and there's the team. We got Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Save Two Tiger, and Tyrannosaurus with their with their bonus parts, um, which are gonna go away once we make the combination. Uh, so let me go ahead and get these stripped down so we can do the combination. And you know how every good Dino Megazord transformation goes. We gotta start with the tank mode. So in order to do that, I left the pterodactyl how it is, but it's gonna have to get transformed back out anyways. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with the legs. Uh, it's very, you know, you've seen it in the show, it's the same thing, just the Zords kind of look different. Uh, tail folds down, the feet, these roll, oh, the tank's going to be able to roll, look at that, I don't even know, it. yeah, obviously, like, definitely, the, the lightning collection, <laughs> the Zap Megazord did not roll, uh, the, the teeth can fold up, I might do stuff just instinctively because of how how, you know, universal this transformation is. It's the same in everything. They just add parts sometimes, like this. So, we have our, our right leg formed. The instructions, it doesn't have the, the teeth up, but that's how I'm doing it. Um, Triceratops is super difficult to use. Squish it, and put the tail down. There we have the front part of the dino tank. Uh, next is T-Rex. The T-Rex is pretty simple because the tail stays down. And then we got to like put it in a squat. So it can support the weight. I'm going to look at it. Squeezing the legs as straight as possible. Uh, that's probably a good height. Okay, uh, 
the pegs for the combination are in here. It's kind of the same thing that they've done for all of the things. We'll use our piece so I can show how that's used. Um, yeah, so this, this has this little like clip and clips on here, it just comes out. Makes it easier so you don't have to like worry about breaking this thing. Uh, same thing on the other side. I think it kind of tells me where they need to be. There's a lot of finagling, as there always is with this mode, because of how it is. Uh, the tail, you want it to be this way? Okay. So, so out like that, that, that. Put the arms up, and then there's the peg hole, another peg. Okay. There we go. We got it. We got it figured out. We got it situation. Situation. Situated. Um. Mastodon, take the head off. This piece we need, I guess, for the pterodactyl. I didn't even know this came off. This is the first time I'm doing the tank mode, if you couldn't tell. Uh, it just comes out right here. This is way different than it's ever been, but this pops out, I guess. There we go, so that little peg. Mastodon head. There's a peg hole there. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's supposed to go there. Alright, you're going to be the last part that goes on because something's wrong here. Uh, Mastodon arms. Or Mastodon arms. The thing that becomes arms, the rest of the Mastodon body. Uh, these side panels they're right here and you fold down like this and that's the only different thing than like the normal toy uh not the only thing there's something else it's interesting uh the back straightens out but for this thing back straightens out those are pretty tight uh, this goes out like this, and this is supposed to, okay, yeah, so the M's need to go up, like that, and there's these little panels, I'm gonna just fold those down, So, okay. the arms have these holes here, and then these pegs here, that'll fit onto the T-Rex. Boom, like that. It clips in, and we're almost there. Sorry, I built the camera. So that's supposed to be out like that. Then, dude, this mastodon head. So there's a gap here that this peg fits into. Man, I that's not in the instructions. So it might not be how it is, but it's how it's gonna be for this. Um, does the trunk go any straighter? Probably not. Okay, so we got those. And then the last part is the pterodactyl, uh, which the wings aren't supposed to be out. It has them out for it. Uh, 
the heads just in the instructions, but like be true to the show. It, the wings would be folded up like this. And then this part there's this like perfect gap that this just pressure fits into. And then there's a peg back here or a peg hole right there. That that peg goes into. And there we have it. Nope. Oh yeah, actually I have to <laughs> where's the cannons? They're on the other thing. We're almost done. Almost done with the tank mode. And then we gotta put all the cool weapons on it. Like okay. this onto these pegs, peg hole. the tank formation. And then we can upgrade the tank formation with the extra bits. So there's peg holes here on top of the arm, a peg hole here. Uh, and I think that's all. Because in the picture it has the upgraded pterodactyl flying, but we're not gonna do that. You know what it looks like. Uh, Cause it doesn't really like peg on anything. It just is in front. <laughs> All right, and there you have the fully armored version, uh, tank mode with all the firepower. Uh, it's just extra silver guns basically. But yeah, so that's cool. All right, so I have the the guns and stuff set off to the side so we can do the regular uh, transformation from tank to Megazord mode. So, you know, Megazord sequence has been initiated, all that. Uh, take the, as I covered, take the Mastodon head off, flip that yellow bit down, take the Pterodactyl off, get this piece from back here. Some of these parts are so tight. Um, Take the cannons off from the front. Okay. So we're gonna stand it up and then do this because it's gonna be flimsy the whole time anyway. So, you know. Just stand it up. <laughs> Feet go flat like that. The legs down. Okay, then those panels down. For the tail, uh, you need to take these off, so it's probably gonna be difficult. Oh, okay, that was easy. Uh, these just become back leg panels. The tail pops out, it was stuck between here. Uh, they fold up like this. That makes more sense. Like that. So that's how the butt's supposed to look. There's this weird waist hinge thing that's popping up. Oh yeah. Okay, so there was this panel back here. It was making the waist stick up when it shouldn't have. Uh, so we got that fixed. Uh, back to the tail, where and where it's supposed to go. Uh, it folds up like how it door really does is the main show uh main show in the the main toy uh there's this peg right here this peg hole right there that, that just slides into mine is pretty loose and it's probably gonna fall out uh so i'm just gonna have it look that's where it goes and then i'm gonna set it to the side because i don't want to deal with it um, so yeah, set the tail to the side, uh, these panels just fold back here. And they're just back there now. Um, just flattened up. 
Now these fists, our hands, where they're supposed to come from. Let's get stuff situated. Um, it's an interesting thing. So like you have it like this, you push it out and then fold the foot up like that and then push it back in and it'll lock. And this panel covers that side. I feel like something's not folded up right. No, it is. Okay, right, there we go. Uh, there is the peg. Uh, so this side, same thing. Pops out. Oh, well. There we go. Uh, it was this peg right here from the cannon that needs to be in. Fold it up. Smush it down. Like that. There we have it. Um, it goes like this? Yeah, that's the elbow, right? Nope, other side's the elbow. This is the elbow. That's the front of the arm. That's the front of the arm. And we can take our fists from over here. And it just pegs on like that. And then I'll show you the open hand on this side. So we decide to put the Mastodon shield in it. Or no, it can be open the whole time because, yeah, the way that they, <laughs> the T-Rex head, fan mode, don't need Kimberly. Uh, That's the open hand. I don't like it, so it's gonna come off. The closed hand on it. Okay. Then we need to do the, the Megazord head. So panel comes out. The T-Rex head goes down and instead of putting it straight in, since that hole where the, the snout was, isn't there, we need to turn it upside down and then put it into the chest. And then it'll... Right. Yeah, so I don't have the screw in the head yet, so it's gonna pop off consistently if I keep hitting it. Um, pterodactyl. There it is. Um, Put the head back into the chest part. Be like the show. It's like. And then that goes on to the chest using peg holes somewhere. Yeah. Right. And so I got it on. Um, the T-Rex's elbows actually have articulation, so the pegs where the uh, where the pterodactyl needed to plug in were having trouble lining up. But it's on there. Um, we need to put the back cannons on. They go into... Uh, they can fit in both peg holes, but the inner ones are more loose, so... I put them in the, the outer ones. And then we have the Dino Megazord. Uh, and so there is a way to put the shield on. The, there's a interesting way to get it like situated onto like the fist, but I don't really know how to do that. So I just play it, peg it into the, the Mastodon's armhole here so it's more of like a captain america style <laughs> captain america style shield and then you know the power sword it's over here spinning around there we have the diamond megazord or the uh lucky cat beast lord thing I think. Yeah, interesting name, but you know, it's the Dino Megazord. Uh, 
and so we can arm it up with these. Uh, I'm not putting these ones on. Uh, the peg on one of them was too tight for this joint, and they're but they're supposed to go up there. But these have the same same peg size, so I'm gonna put them on there. Hopefully, not have to. Yep. That can go like that. I covered up that whole whole process. <laughs> uh, but it's just going into these these shoulder peg holes. There you go. So you can see. And there you have that. And so there's one more thing that you can do with this, uh, and it involves the extra pterodactyl bits. So I'm going to set this back here while we get its backpack formed. Uh, and luckily we already have the tail off. Uh, actually we need these guns. They go, or the cannons, they go on. I don't think they can't, yeah. Cannons can't do the over, or no, they can, because of the way the mastodon is. Just real quick. If you wanted to have over the shoulder cannons, the Mastodon can do that with its feet, which is cool. Um, but as a quick aside, this has a lot of like options for what you want to have on your shelf. It could be the basic Dino Megazord, or it can be the, the thing that we're about to put together. So yeah, set this back here. I have the instructions to the side, so pardon me while I figure out this mess that goes onto the back. Um, take the pterodactyl, and the legs need to go straight down. Like this. Okay, and then the feet go to the back, and then up, and then to the back, and up, like so, and then we take the head off. You see how it's split right there? Just get your nail in there and split that off. And then the tail pegs in this way. And these, there's peg holes on the inside of the feet or the ankles, I should say. Let go on like this. Okay, and then uh, the pterodactyl head goes straight out, and you don't really have to re split it. That way it can stick on, but it sticks on the opposite way. So now it's like a long dragon. Uh, and then the last thing. Maybe you have this hanging down? No. No, that can stay up. Uh, last thing are the shoulder cannons. And you want to Why'd that get all loose on me now? has them leaning forward so like this you know like that and then these peg holes 
or pegs go into what I assume are the outer peg holes on the mastodon feet. Nope, they are the inner ones, the ones that I said were loose. But here we have, I think the pterodactyl is supposed to be back there for support. <laughs> uh, and here we have a fully armed up Dino Megazord. Where do these cans go? Are they just off to the side now? Uh, they have them pegged into, okay. So in the picture it has these ones here. The cannons pegged into like the side of this thing. Uh, and then these up top. It has it like, I think this is the best way. Honestly, probably just take these off. This awesome biomechanical winged megazord of doom. And yeah, you'll want to check out uh, my Instagram, Box Collectibles, as I say every time. Uh, I'll have some, some good pictures for posing with this on there. Uh... But for now, like, there we go. Uh, and yeah, there's the lightning effects. And so, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. Um, thanks for checking it out. Uh, this is the, uh, let me grab the box real quick. MC03 Beast Lord from Lucky Cat. Uh, shout out again to Toe Collectibles. Uh, I ordered this back in January uh, and they kept the pre-order going through until Lucky Cat sent it to them. So I'm happy to have it in my collection. It's a fun toy. Uh, like I said, it's, there's, it's so intricate. So like just fiddling with it, you get it into one spot, leave it down, come back later, keep going if you want, if that's like your thing, or if you're like, I want to put it into this mode and sit it on the shelf because... Uh, I didn't know how much I needed, uh, pink, uh, pterodactyl wings on the Megazord. Um, uh, you know, there it is. Uh, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of the review. Uh, I know it's a bit longer than normal, but it is a very intricate piece, uh, of Megazord. So yeah, thanks for watching.